Okay, we're at Fetty Middle School in Hawaiian Gardens. Unified ABC Unified School District. 1960. Five, five, five. Okay, you can fix it. And we're here to show you something really cool. Okay, the land where you are standing was once home to Native Americans identified as the Gavrilinos or the Tongva. Over 2,000 years ago, they populated much of present-day Los Angeles, Orange Counties. More than 5,000 Gavrilinos lived in about 100 settlements. Their territory stretched from the San Gabriel Mountains north overseas to the Channel Islands to the south, beyond the Santa Monica to the west, past Santa Ana River to the east. The lives of the Gavrilinos were, nature, were nurtured by using the land, the sea, the plants, and the animals that surrounded them. The Gavrilino culture rapidly declined after they were forced to submit to the control of the missionary, the mission in the San, in the San Gabriel Arch, Archangel, founded in 1771. Today, the Gavrilino is used to describe the Native Americans who lived here th for thousands of years. The name comes from the incorporation of the Indians in the area and the mission of the San Gabriel. Likewise, Indians in other areas, California, were designated the association with their missions that were established in their ancestral homelands. Researchers have reported many names for the ancient people who lived here. The Kaza, Tab, Kara, Kamivet, Pash, and the Tongva, inspired by accurate research and scholarship of 2014, band of Mission Indians led by Chief Ernie Sales, the tribal chair, and Sale and Salas correctly recognized that the word Kiza identifies their ancestors who in inhabited this land. The Gabrielino Trail highlights the f fascinating and tragic story of the Kiz. As you walk along the Gabrielino Trail, imagine the open spaces, the plants, the animals, the kids whose homeland heritage is here. Okay, um, when I won that uh, Citizen of the Year from the LA City School District, they showed me this. So I want to thank the Cerritos School District and LA City School District for showing this to me. Now I guess when they were adding on this field, these fields, to that school, um, they ran across all kinds of bones. And I first thought it was a murder scene, but it was then determined it was Indian burial grounds. So they built this walkway around this memorial. So we're gonna go around and see that entire thing. It's in Hawaiian Gardens. Toy Perino was a 25-year-old Gavrilino woman who helped lead a rebellion against the mission in San Gabriel, October of, eight, of 1785. This event, known as the Toy Perino's Revolt, Toy Perino was a charismatic, charismatic person who possessed great influence and conviction. She was a shaman, a spiritual leader, in the village of Chipavit, brother was Tom Yar, a leader. Toy Perina resented the destructions of the Gabrielino life caused by the founding of the missions in San Gabriel. The rules enforced by the Francis transition padres forbid Gabrielino ceremonies and rituals that were part of their daily life. The mission took her land and used it to graze livestock and plant foreign crops. Spanish settlers were often violent and cruel. Recently, more than 500 Indians had relocated from, to the mission from settlements far away from Japivit. And these were people who did not share the ways of the village. Nicholas Jose was a Gabrielino who lived 
worked and participate, participated in the life of the mission San Gabriel. He recruited Toy Perina and participate to, to part. He recruited Toy Perina to participate in the revolt because he was angry with the Padres for prohibiting traditional Indian dancing ceremonies. Toy Perina and Nicholas Jose m mobilized well over 20 Gabrielinos to participate in the revol revolt on the night of October 25th. The Gabrielinos entered the mission grounds armed with bows and arrows. A guard had been re forewarned of their attack and Torpino was captured along with Nicholas Jose and a score of others. A trial was held. Punishment was rendered. 17 of the warriors were given 15 to 20 lashes with a whip and released. Two Tomyar leaders spent two years in prison and returned to their village. Nicholas Jose was sentenced to six years of hard labor in the Presidito in San Diego. At her trial, Toy Perina testified that she was angry with the Padres and the others in the mission because they had come to live and establish themselves on her land. She was convicted of helping lead the revolt and banished far away from the San Gabriels to the mission of San Carlos. She married a soldier of the Presidito, Pres, Presidio and raised a family of four children. On May 22, 1799, Toy Perina died in the mission of San Juan Batista. Batista? Toy Perina has become a symbol of the Gabrielino resistance to the destruction of their lives and the culture by the mission system in California. My daughter noticed that on this walkway they have a raccoon prints, deer prints, fox prints. If you do come here, there'll be directions to be the address down below. There's a historic timeline. And then you, I guess this is where they put people here to listen to a uh, little talk about it. The school district gave me this. And it goes all the way around. There's a station that tells about the arts, crafts, and tools. These clay, red orchard, charcoal, crushed mineral stones, animal bones, wood, animal furs. One of the guys I was talking about this with said when he was in the Boy Scouts back in the 70s, uh, somewhere in Cerritos, I believe, one of the local parks, some Boy Scouts were camping there and they found some arrowheads and pottery. So there were encampments all over the place. Food and shelter, mammals such as deer, rabbits, squirrels, rats, gophers, and raccoons, both fresh and saltwater fish, shellfish, shellfish birds, reptiles, plants such as acorns you see that England acorns it's not a drug he tried to get me arrested for sending him to England it's not a drug chia seeds pinion nuts pinion nuts yucca and tulle shoots of cactus for fruit insects grasshoppers bees wasps larvas caterpillars aphids and honeydew Their homes were built in dome shape. You can see pictures of that. I'll try to put a, I'll try to put some pictures at the end of it. <laughs> Language, place, names. They spoke their own version of the Shoshone that was uttered thousands of years before them by the native people who migrated eastward to California. 
An early observer described their language as having a great many liquid sounds such as so softened down to become quite agreeable to the ear. Some gabolinas were trained as storytellers. They spoke in, imag in imaginative oral literature of history, myths and legends. Here are some of the names words used by the gabolinos. Current name, Mount Baldy. Cool. Mount Baldy was known as Jot. Mount Saddleback, Har Vovet, Catalina Islands, Pimu, San Gabriel River, Totoninga Pite, village near USC Long Beach, Puvu, Puvagna, English word man, so on, so on. Acorn. Kahe ek. When you get to the school, it's the far uh, northwest corner where the baseball field is. There'll be a baseball field facing the east and a baseball field facing the west. It's the one facing the west, right along the border of the field. Religion. The daily lives of the Gabalinos were interwoven with religion and ritual. Sports and Recreation The Gabalito enjoyed games and skills and chants. Runners raced to celebrate the appearance of the new moon. Archery contests were held in distance. Pastimes such as Cat's Cradle, a form of kickball called Gom, were played here. And some additional contests and games popular with the Gabalito. The Gabrielinos also relaxed by sunbathing and using sweat houses. The dry sauna sweat house were a semi-circular structure built of wooden poles pounded into the ground and covered with soil. It was usually located next to a small pool of, of rinsing. For rinsing, men used sweat houses for religious worship to prepare for the hunt and for the celebrations. Celebrations of major life events form the important feature of the Gabrielino culture. Every significant experience from the birth to the death was highlighted by a rite of passage. These ceremonies appealed for it's getting dark. These ceremonies appealed for the supernatural and community support of the Gabrielino moved through the cycle of life. Birth, puberty, grief, marriage, death. You got bear footprints. Dragonflies. Fox. Raccoon. Deer or bighorn sheep, maybe. No deer. There you go. Now, pretty neat. They did this. You just follow the prints and lead you right back to the statue. So all this is in this park. If your kids that are at all interested in the native people of the San Gabriel Mountains and you're local, you might want to bring them here and check this out.
I wish I could tell you how to get this. I'll see if there's an address or something on this. So what I just discovered is this book is just pictures of each thing and copies of what each station says. So if you come here and you read it, read the pedestals, you've got this book. Each page is one of the stations and then the back page is just an aerial view of the map of the school grounds. So although we use this to get here, um, I'm going to put the address, the actual address down below. And you know when you get to that address that it's the uh, far back northwest corner. Behind this baseball field is another one.